Thank you. Thank you. Presidents usually start these speeches with my fellow Americans because we like to remind you that we are all in this together, equals. We also say, my fellow Americans, so that you'll forget for a second everything in our country that divides us. We tell you that we believe in the United States that will protect your family, and then we throw a man in jail for protecting his. I am responsible for that. I helped pass the executive order that made Benjamin Johnson's gun purchase illegal because I believed that it would save people's lives, and maybe it did, but it also ruined a man's life. We live in a country of more than two parties. Beware of any leader who tells you it would be easier for you to just let them make your decisions for you because they know what is best. Because we do not know what's best. We learn what's best through trial and error. I pushed for that law because I believed it was right at the time. But I made a mistake. It wasn't ready, and it wasn't properly vetted. I will not make that mistake again. Roll call, Christian Kelly. Henry Rourke, Rebecca Sherman, and Thomas Roth. And now, thanks to a tip from an old friend, Alice Winter of Graypool, our defense collaborator, tech mogul Peter Teo, Maxwell Fletcher, the ideologue, and finally, media baron Warren Shepard. So, if our analysis is right and we're looking for eight collaborators, we have everyone. Wow. It feels nice to have a win for a change. Two when you count your coup on the courthouse steps. We cut Rourke off at the knees. And none of us knows how this will end, but when I can't sleep at night, I remember that you're here fighting back. And that you stay here, despite the setbacks, threats on your lives, loss of friends. You keep going, and I thank all of you for that. I hope the next time we gather here, this war will be over. I take no credit for that speech. That's all her. <laughs> but the other one? <laughs> <laughs>